What's up guys, Brandon here for RC Flight School. Today we're going to be checking out the brand new F4F Wildcat from Park Zone. Uh, I got it off to the side of me here because of course this is a little bit bigger box, one of their Warbirds. This is called the uh, Wildcat. What we're looking at is a four channel model here, full house control. Um, let's take, an op take, take a look, open her up right away. We got this from our local hobby town in Germantown as a bind and fly model because we got the DX6 behind me there. Going to bind it to that to do all our setups. And a bind and fly option, again, you get everything you need but a radio. So that includes battery, charger, all the electronics in the plane. Just get your Spectrum radio and you're good. Instructions. They're giving you a car charger. When I mean car charger, you can see here it's got the car port. This is meant to plug in your cigarette lighter. This is a balancing charger for your LiPo, so you don't have to worry about buying a separate balancer. Plug it in. This guy's fully automatic, so for all you... Uh, noobs out there you don't have to worry about setting up your charger plug it in and walk away the battery they're giving you this is a three cell 1300 milliamp pack it's a little on the small size for this for this kind of plane my guess is they're you know maybe trying to save a little money but also keep the plane flying a little lighter for you on the first few flights i know the plane will accept an 1800 to 2100 milliamp three cell battery that'll get you a little more flight time on this kind of pack you're expecting to see less than 10 minutes um, there is a 480 size brushless outrunner, and that's why I say less than 10 minutes. Once you go up to a 480 size, that's a lot of juice. That little battery ain't going to last too long. All right, pulling the fuselage out here. Take a look at that. Obviously, Parkstone does a great job with their paint schemes. This is to mimic the real deal from back in the day. Nice bright rudder. Little uh, mock landing gear in the back. That wheel doesn't spin. And then this I thought was interesting. Right here, it looks like a wheel, though that is a wheel. On the other side too, they, these are mock wheels. So on the real plane, the wheels would retract and they'd sit up there. Well, they don't give you the retracts here to save weight, space, and all that good stuff. But they do put the wheels there to make it look like they're retracted. So you're going to be hand launching this and then landing it on the belly. Just a different way to do it. Parks don't recognize that. So you can see here they got a nice plastic skid so you don't rough up the foam and wear through. Pull out the wings. It's a two-wing half, so you can disassemble it, easy for transport. They're going to have a carbon fiber spar that goes through it, separate wing servos for each wing panel. It's kind of nice, simplifies things. You don't have linkages running all over the place. Nothing special here, your other wing half. Again, full paint scheme there. This is the, uh, pull out the spar for you, carbon fiber or fiberglass tube that keeps that wing nice and steady for you. This plane's pretty quick, so they want to reinforce it. You don't want your wings shifting around. Horizontal stabilizer, again a two-piece design, this is just going to slide in the tail and they got a nice little square lock here to piece the two elevator halves together for you. And then I believe if we pull out the parts package, ah yes, a tiny little spar here for the tail end too to keep those two halves from flexing on you. Set all this aside and let's quick piece it together so you can see what this beauty looks like. Now when you're out on the field doing this, Really all, the, all that's going to be needed is to plug in your airline servo. So you can see the cord goes into the, the fuselage. Every time you take the wings off you have to plug those in, but it's a small price to pay for having a nice transportable airplane. Leave these in here, and I believe they do mark it out on the receiver for you, which is an AR500. So they have all the, uh, the linkages set up so there's no guesswork. That's it for the wings. Obviously they lock in with some screws. There's a top hatch here too that comes off. I'm guessing this is a little magnet that holds it on. Yep. Nice scale canopy. You gotta love when they put a pilot figure in there for you and paint it just adds to the realism. And you can take a peek inside there. Everything's tucked in for you. Again, they give you the ESC, 18 amp ESC, 480 outrunner, and the AR500 speed controller, and then two servos for that tail pieces. And carbon fiber rods for the tail control rods, which is nice. Carbon fiber nice and stiff and rigid. I'll put the tail on real quick for you guys. Get the full effect. I was lucky enough at the local fly-in to actually take this bird up. And I was pleasantly surprised. For such a small warbird, you know, it's not, it's not as big as some of their other ones. It's a decent size, but the wingspan's a little shorter. It flies really well. It's very predictable. It handles the wind well. Um, nothing out of the ordinary. Still acrobatic, loops, rolls, immelmans, everything you'd like to do with a plane of this size. Handles it really well. Just a great all-around plane to toss up whenever you got maybe a gusty day or whatnot. You don't want to take up your, your park flyers. This one I'd say is just one class above that. 
nice plane, I had plenty of power. Now I was flying it on a 2100 milliamp pack and I do recommend that as a nice upgrade. Just adds to your runtime, adds to the power. The pack they give you is great for getting started, but again, you'll probably do that upgrade later. So you're gonna see assembly time not too long. Now all I have to do is bind it to the radio and I'm pretty much ready to go. But another great Park Zone product. If you guys have any questions, comment below. We'd like to hear what you have to say. If you have this plan already, and maybe you've added retracts or done some modifications, tell me, what, tell me what you've done. I'd like to hear what you guys have to say. Thanks for watching this video. We'll see you guys soon.